So what I'm going to do now is go through and build a song very quickly. What we're gonna do is pick different variations of each section. I'm just gonna click on it and drag it down into the song block area here. And then we'll talk about some functions within that as well. So let's go ahead and just quickly create our song. So I'm in the intro section and I'm going to grab this variation two and we'll do another intro, we'll do variation three. Then let's go to the verse. I'm gonna grab variation two. Let's make this a little bigger. And we'll go into the chorus. So I'm gonna skip down to chorus and I'll just grab the first variation of the chorus here. And notice as I'm doing this, we have different color coded blocks. So visually you can see what section you're dealing with. I'm gonna go back to the verse. I'm gonna use this third variation. So we have something a little bit different. Again, we'll keep the same length of the verse. We'll go into the chorus again. I'll use the same variation I used before, which is variation one. Now we're gonna jump into the bridge. I like this variation four. So I'm actually gonna start with that. You don't have to go in the order of the variations. You can really do whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and grab variation two. This is for the bridge. And then let's jump down to variation four. And finally, let's do a third chorus. And I'm gonna use variation three. So we'll change the chorus a bit. And we're gonna do an outro, but I'm actually going to use a verse variation. We'll use this variation three, and then we'll go back to an intro. So there's really no rules here. In my mind, I know that these last two blocks are going to be more of an outro, even though I'm using a verse block for one of those variations. It's really up to you. Now I'll jump around the song. Let's just take a listen to what we have so far. And one thing I noticed as well, I wanna make sure we change the time signature to six eight. So that way the measure markers will match. Make note of a few things while this is playing. You can see we have some information within the MIDI block showing the actual MIDI information. And in Easy Keys, we also have these chords. So it has an intelligent system to actually display the chords from these MIDI packs, so from the MIDI blocks that you load in. Now we can actually make some changes, we'll talk about that in a moment, but it's really nice as you can see all of the chord changes. switch the screen back to this main window and you can see as the MIDI plays we have a graphical representation within easy keys so you can actually visually see the notes being played and stop this and let's jump forward just a bit. We'll go to our bridge. So this is the second chorus now. So here's our bridge. another bridge block. And our final chorus. We go ahead and skip ahead to our outro. So we have a verse block and we have actual intro block that I'm using as an outro. 
Actually, I'll go ahead and let it play. It's coming right up here. So this is the rest of the third chorus. And now we have our outro. So this is a verse block, but it works well as an outro because it takes you back to that original melody that we had at the very beginning. And then I like using the intro at the very end there because it simplifies it just a bit. We have these chords that are just held. It's less busy, so it works well to kind of wind down the song. 